Good day everyone and welcome you back to Global Education Zone, the home of impactful learning. It's nice over here for you and I because learning never ends and education is key to an impactful life. My name is Anthony Nathaniel and in this particular episode of Crash Mathematics for SS2, we are going to be talking about the gradient of straight lines and curves. Now the gradient of straight lines and curves, this is a part that is very important and then this, is, this applies different concepts in mathematics. In this video, I'm going to be talking about um, how to calculate the gradient of a straight line. We are going to be talking about how to sketch the graph of a straight line whose equation is y equals mx plus c. Then we're also going to be talking about how to determine the equation of a straight line from given data. Then fourth, we're going to talk about to draw the tangent to a curve at a given point. Then lastly, we're going to talk about how to use the tangent to find an approximate value for the gradient to a curve, a curve at a given point. Now this gradient, let's talk about the um, basics for the rudiments. Now the, for any straight line AB, the gradient is the, um, the change in Y divided by the change in X. So for example, if, you're, if you have two corresponding values of y, if your first value of y is y1, and then your second value of y is y2, then your first value of x is x1, and then your second value of x is x2. That means your gradient becomes your final value of y, that's y2 minus y1. That's the change in y. So y2 minus y1 means the change in y. Then x2 minus x1 is equal to the change in x. So simply you can represent them as this, delta um, y over delta x. So this is a simple um, term, this is a simple notation for the gradient of a line at a particular point in that line. So the gradient of a line or a curve at a particular point is given by, by delta x divided by delta y. And this simply denotes that the, the final, 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 final value of y minus final minus initial value of y divided by the final value of x by minus the initial value of x. That's a change in y divided by the change in x. Now that's the gradient, and it's also known as the rate of change of y compared with x. So in in um in if you ask um mathematic mathematicians, and when you get to SS3, you also refer to it as um the um derivative of y with respect to x, or the differential coefficient of y with respect to x. Now, if you are interested in understanding gradients of line in res with respect to calculus, now you can check the videos in this in this channel where I've talked about calculus in detail, both further mathematics and mathematics classes, if you want to understand them in detail. But today, let's just talk about, let's limit ourselves to gradients. Now, the gradient of a line passing through point x1, y1, and y x2, y2 is given by this. So this is how to calculate the gradient of a line. Of, of, of gradient of the line passing through um, x1, y1 and x2, y2. So if this is a point, and this is a point. The next we have the general equation of a straight line is y equals mx plus c. So that is the general equation of a straight line. And where m is the gradient and c is the intercept on the y-axis or the abscissa. Now, this is um, this is very simple to understand and it's very simple and we are, we are going to be talking about that. I will give you examples in that too. In later parts of this video, the next we have other forms of gradients. General equation of a straight line are so there are different other forms you can use to represent the general equation of a straight line. You can see them? You can represent them as m equals y minus y one over x minus x one, or you can also represent it as x y minus y one over x minus x one equals y two minus y one over x two minus x one. So next we have any line parallel to the x-axis has zero gradients. So any line that is parallel to the x-axis. As a gradient of zero, then at the end of the day, also any and any line parallel to the y-axis has a gradient of the form x equals a. So if your line is parallel to the x-axis, your gradient is zero, and if your line is parallel to the y-axis, you have your you have the equation of x equals a. The next we have the tangent tangent. Now, in I've talked about tangent in um, a lot in our videos on circle theorems in this channel. You can check that out too. But a tangent is basically that straight line that touches a circle at only one given point. So it is it touches a circle at only one point. And a tangent is um the tangent represents the gradient of that um, line at that point. So the tangent to a um to a curve or a line at a particular point represents the gradient of that line at that point. That is represent it represents this. At that particular point, it's like an instantaneous value at a tangent. Now, next, let's talk about the gradient of a curve at a point is given by the gradient of the tangent 
at that point i've talked about that then lastly that's the final concept we'll be dealing with in this video is that a quadratic curve has a turning point where as x increases the gradient changes from positive to negative at the at the maximum point or from the negative to positive at the minimum point so the gradient as a turning point is zero now this is one concept we will be taking uh, we will be taking in the, in the, in a, to a further step in in subsequent videos but for this level of this video we are just going to be explaining that in the maximum point a maximum point is basically where the gradient changes from positive um, it changes from positive to negative and then for a minimum point your 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 gradient changes from from negative to positive so what I'm saying is that your gradients can have both positive and negative values in as integers so we will also be talking about that too in this video and let me give um, examples and um, illustrations. So the gradient of a line, the gradient of a line is represented by um, by the change in y over change in x. So now this um, question says find the gradient of the lines joining a is minus one comma two and b is three comma minus two. So now you can see that these are this is line a that is minus one comma two and b which is um three comma minus two. So if we're looking for the gradient of these two lines, we are going to simply compute the um, the final value of y. What is the final value of y, which is minus 2? That will be minus 2 minus, the initial value of y is 2, minus 2, divided by x2 minus x1. So x2 is the final value of x, which is 3. That's the value of, that's the x coordinate of the second point. Then subtract, um, from that, subtract the um, x coordinate of the initial point, which is x1. So minus, minus 1. That will be the, on, the, on, the, on the numerator we have um, minus 4 and on the denominator we have 3 minus minus 1 which is 4. So minus 4 divided by 4 that is minus 1. So the gradient between the gradient of the line joining this, these two points is minus 1. So you can also draw it on your axis on your, on your on your graph if you want to check it out and confirm. So that is how to look for the gradient of a line. There are also, there are also other examples on that but let's stop here. Now, Next, we have to find, draw the graph of the line represented by the equation 4x plus 2y equals 5 and find the gradient by taking measurements. So, we are looking for the gradient of this line of 4y, 4x plus 2y equals 5. So, now when you are looking for the gradient of, this, of such a line, it is 4x plus 2y equals 5. Now, I will not be drawing the graph this time around, but I will be making use of arithmetic methods to find the gradient. Now, if you are looking for the gradient of a line without drawing a curve, all you need to do is you are going to change the, um, the order, change the, change the terms around, and then make your y the subject. So that means you are going to subtract 4x from both sides. That will leave 2y equals 5 minus 4x. Then we'll divide both sides by 2. Divide every term by 2. So your y equals 5 over 2 minus 4. 4x over 2, that's 2x minus 2x. Now you can see, compare this with your general form of equation, y equals mx plus c. You now I stated earlier that the general form of an equation, of any equation is y equals mx plus c, of any linear equation. Now, you can see that from this, when we have y as our subject, your x, your x, the, the, the um, what's it called again, the coefficient of your x, your x term will be your gradient, and your gradient is m. So that means this coefficient m will be our gradient. So you compare that with here, and then we have your m is minus 2 here. So that means your gradient m equals minus 2. And then if by, if by the way you ask to look for the, um, the um, y-intercept c, you can see that that is this lone term, this um, constant term, and that c equals what? 5 over 2. So without drawing a graph and without um, elaborate processes, we have successfully calculated the gradient and the intercept of that line. That's how it works. So let's talk about um, how do you sketch graph of straight line. So if we ask to sketch the graph of a straight line, what do you do? Let me show you the steps to sketch the graph. And then you can also use that um, for that, that steps again to, to calculate the gradient. That's if you want to make it of um, if you want to use make it of sketching a line to calculate the gradient. So how do you do it? So this is done. So now, for example, let's take that our that same um, equation we solved, which was we solved them um, 4x plus 2y equals 5. Now I transformed it to y equals um, 5 over 2 minus 4 mi mi minus 2x. Now, if we have this line and we don't want to make use of arithmetic methods, what if we just want to make use of the graph form method? Now, what we'll do is we are going to sketch that graph on this board and then we are going to make use of our sketching to calculate the gradient so now let's let's do some sketching 
Now, before we sketch, let's take let's check the um, x and y. Let's check the intercept. Now, the intercept of a graph is basically that point at which your um, one of the one of the axes is zero. One of the axes has an intercept of zero. So for the x-intercept, your y has an intercept. Y your y has a value of zero. That means for your x-axis, you so for your x-intercept, for your x-intercept, you substitute y as zero. So that means zero equals five by two minus two x. So when we change it, when we um, when we when we add two x to both sides, that means two x equals five over two. Dividing both sides by two, we have x equals five over four. So our x intercept will be what five over four, comma five over four, comma zero, because we've already assumed that our y is zero. Now if we're looking for the y intercept, we just said the, for the y intercept, your corresponding value of x is zero. That means when we substitute value for x, that means y equals 5 over 2. So your y intercept is 0, 0,5 over 2. So your x intercept, your, your x value at your y intercept, your x is 0. At your x intercept, your y is 0. Now I'm going to make use of this intercept to um to sketch the graph. Now for let's let's take an arbitrary value of, of um 5 over 2. Assume this is 5 over 2 here. And assume this is 5 over 4. 5 over 4. So 5 over 4 is between 1 and 2. So this is 1 and this is 2. This will be 5 over 4. And, this, and if this is if, if this is um, 2 and this is 3, if this is 2 and this is 3, then this will be 5 and a half. 5 over 2, that's, that corresponds with 2 and a half. So when we draw, draw the line, connect these two um, intercepts, so that would give us the line or the, um, the equation of this line. So now, having done this, we are going to make this. So that's how to sketch a graph using the equation. So I've, I've talked about this in the previous episode, so sketching a graph, you can check that out. In the SS1 videos, I talk about how to sketch a graph from an equation and how to get an equation from the sketched graph. Now, but this time around, we are going to make it of this graph to look for the gradient. Now, the gradient is simply the change in y over change, by the change in x. Now, you can see that in this, um, in this curve, you can see that if you take um, this, these two points, from these two points here, let's call this point A and point B. Now, we are looking for the gradient between the line, the line connecting A and B. We are going to look for the change in Y with respect to the change in X. So that means that's delta Y over delta X. That would be the gradient. And that would be because what is the change in Y? That's what is the difference between the final and the initial positions of Y. So from the, if this was the final and this is the initial, that means we we'll have the, um, the, the change in Y. So Y has changed from, from 0 to, um, to 1. Yes, Y has changed from 0 to from 0 to 5 over 2. So that means that will be 5 over 2 minus 0. So, but now if um, y starts from here and ends here, now the change in x will be what? From here to here, x has changed from this to this because this is the corresponding value of x. So x has changed from 5 over 2 to 0. That's 5 over 2 minus 0. That's, so we have 5 over 2 divided by minus 5 over 4. That's 5 over 2 times minus 4 over 5. That becomes 5 cancels out. That means that's minus, minus 4 over 2. Our gradient is minus 2. So the gradient is equals minus 2. So that corresponds with the, first, with the first answer we got. We still got minus 2 as our gradient. When you make use of the comparing um, with standard equation method, you still get your minus 2. And then when you look use graphical method, you still get minus 2 as a gradient. So that is how to um, look for gradient using the um, equations. So for example, and then we have gradient of a curve. Now, for the gradient of a curve, it's very simple. You simply construct a tangent. Now, how to construct a tangent? So, I've talked about this construction of tangents in the in the basic episode of my um, technical drawing courses. You can check that out. I've talked about how to construct a tangent to a circle, but sorry, sorry to a curve. But if you, in general, if you are looking to construct a tangent to a curve, all you need to do is you draw a line that is at that is that's that. that that just passes them um, through only one point at that curve. So that tangent will just simply pass only one point in that curve. There are methods of drawing tangents, but just you can simply um using your um your your eye level, you can just simply use your ruler, put it at the edge of that point, put it at that point, and draw a straight line to pass through that point only, and not only any other part of the curve. So that point, if we're looking for, if we're looking for the gradient of a particular point of the graph then that um, point that point will be that the gradient of that line that will that passes through the point the gradient of that line will be the gradient of the curve at that point 
So the gradient of a curve at, at one point is the gradient of that tangent that passes through that point. That's how it works. And then, hopefully you understand that concept. So and then, finally, we'll come to the end of this video and see you in the next episode. Thank <laughs> you.